Okay, so at the start, we'll take a quick look at the calendar. Today is Friday. Homework, which I will check if I haven't checked already, is 2-7. And today we cover 2-8. And next class on Monday, 2-8 is due. And I just want to point out that Monday is our practice exam day. So today is the last day of new material. Monday is our review day. And then Wednesday is exam two. As usual, you're welcome to take the exam with any section, but if you take it with the Tuesday, Thursday section, it's actually earlier than than we take it. So Wednesday is your last day to take this exam, but I'm assuming that most, if not all of you, will join us here on Wednesday morning for exam two. Any questions on the calendar? Okay, and if you do have old homework that you owe me, um, exam two is the last date that I'll take anything in that box for exam two. So make sure you're working on homework if you owe any homework. Okay, so here on page 157, we'll go up to the top, and can we start with Caroline for the objective? Thank you. So we're going to simplify this example together, and then you guys will do a bunch of practice with your, um, with your table mates. So the new thing here is that we've got parentheses with what symbol in between them? Subtraction. The date, now maybe you guys have seen this in some past math class, but in this class we have never seen this before, where there's a subtraction in front of parentheses. So I'm just going to write down um, the, the two steps that I think of when I have to solve problems like this. Uh, so step A is to um, simplify inside of each parentheses. So we're going to clean up whatever is inside of the parentheses separately. And then B is to eliminate the parentheses. using two rules, and I will share with you those two rules in just a minute. So let's see if we can solve this problem right here. We're trying to simplify this thing. So first I'm going to uh, simplify inside of each parentheses. So I'll put an arrow here and I'm just going to put kind of my basic shell. I had two parentheses before. I'm still going to have them now. I had a subtraction in between. I'm still going to have that. So in terms of cleaning up inside of the first parentheses, what does it mean when you are adding a negative? It's the same as what operation? It's really subtracting. So I'm going to copy the 6x just like it is. I'm going to change the next part to subtract 7yx. And then subtracting negative 12 is the same as adding 12. So that's a plus 12. Everybody see what we did? Subtracting a negative is the same as just adding. Okay, let's do the same thing in the other set of parentheses. The 2x is just 2x. I'm copying that. And I see subtract negative 3yx. What does that become? plus 3yx. And then the minus 4, I'm just going to copy minus 4. Okay, so all we've done is cleaned up each set of parentheses as they were, but we copied everything else. And now we're going to eliminate the parentheses using two rules. There's only two rules about parentheses. I'll write them in a second, but let's just apply them to this example. If you see a positive sign in front of the parentheses or no sign at all, because a positive is implied, like in front of this first parentheses, that you can imagine a positive sign in front there, then you get rid of the parentheses and you copy everything down inside just like it is. So this one here, I'm just going to copy straight down without parentheses. So if there's a plus sign in the front of the parentheses or no sign at all, you copy it, copy it just like it is, but don't write the parentheses. 
But if there's a minus sign in front of the parentheses or a subtraction symbol like we have here, then you change all of the signs inside of that parentheses. So we're going to change every single sign in here. That 2x is currently a positive thing. It becomes a negative thing, negative 2x. That 3yx is currently positive. It becomes negative. That 4 is currently negative. It becomes positive. And notice what I didn't write. What didn't get copied down there? The parentheses. That's what we did, is we used a rule to get rid of the parentheses. So let's just write our two rules real quick here. So rule one, if you have a positive in front of the parentheses or nothing in front of the parentheses, then you just copy everything. But number two, if you have a negative in front of the parentheses, what do we do? We change all the signs. And in both cases, what do we not write anymore? The parentheses. Questions on the two rules? So now that we've got the rules written down, let's look at the example we just did again. In this case, what did we see in front of the parentheses? We saw nothing, so what do we do? We just copy it, and what do we not write? The parentheses. So this whole thing just copied right down here, no parentheses. What did we see in front of this parentheses? We saw a subtraction symbol. When we see that, what do we do? change all the signs that subtraction symbol is a really powerful thing it comes in and changes everything in the parentheses and so we change all the signs and what do we not write anymore the parentheses those are our two rules questions on that and now that we've gotten rid of the parentheses this now looks like a problem that we've solved before so we'll just go ahead and write our final answer down here what are the like terms 6x goes with Subtract the 2x and we get 4x. So that's these two. And then minus 7yx goes with minus 3yx and we get negative 10yx. That's these two. And then finally, 12 and 4. Plus 16. So that last thing right there is our simplified final answer. Questions? Okay, so let's see how far we get in the classwork. Just see if you can practice very carefully with these two rules.